Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another Dad Caw. It is 10.33 p.m. on Wednesday, the 24th of June, 2020. And those two threes remind me that I've got to do probably my umpteenth 333rd playthrough of StarCraft at some point. So I wanted to talk a little bit in this Dad Caw about some plans that I have for the custom content that lies ahead. And uh, just in general, the non-modding stream and fraud night streams that you will see in the relative near future. I'm mostly talking about this because I don't really have anything else to discuss. I thought maybe I would talk about something related to voice acting because I've been doing that lately, but there's nothing that really comes to mind. Uh, if there is, it, it's so small that it wouldn't really even fit for a dad call. It's like a, something I could talk about for maybe three or four minutes and then I would trail off for a while and not actually do anything, I feel like. So... Uh, because of that assumption, anyway, we're going to brush past that topic and maybe broach that in, in a couple days or a week or something when I do my next dad call. But for now, we can talk about the actual plans for the Brood War content. And uh, what I want to be able to do, anyway, is get more uh, Hydra AI castovers out. But even those kind of beget some understanding of like, oh, well, if I have AI notes to talk about, if I, if I have like a new map to show off, or if I have a new build to show off, or uh, if maybe I want to show off the progress since the last one, you know, there's definitely stuff like that that I could show off, but is it enough? Like, do I really want to make a benchmark at this particular moment? There's a lot that goes into that thought process that maybe I should just forget about all that stuff, all of those perceived prerequisites and do it anyway, because it does seem to be fun enough content for people to watch. And at the very least, I end up uh, actually trying to be educational in those videos. So there's some value there. And of course, you can laugh at whatever stupid shit the AI pulls. So... We'll probably see more of that, generally speaking. But as far as playthrough content, uh, there has been the idea floated recently to actually do an updated playthrough of StarCraft 1. There's a few reasons to actually do this. Uh, for one, probably the most important reason is that my existing playthrough is in 480p. Uh, so terrible quality, just in terms of actual objective uh, viewer experience. I was obviously much younger. I think it was like 2017, 2016, something like that, uh, when I actually recorded this. Uh, it's probably early 2017, but it might have been even as early as late 2016. And the commentary within was not only poor in an objective sense of like trying to communicate my points, but the points that I were I was often communicating were just done so poorly or so poorly thought out. I think at some point during the Battle of Braxis mission specifically, I remember uh, listening back to that and hearing myself like argue in favor uh, of how well Blizzard put together that mission. And if you don't remember what mission that is, that's the Protoss micro mission with a billion missile turrets and power generator gimmicks. So suffice it to say, I would like to correct the record on that. Uh, not just that mission specifically, but a lot of other things. There was, of course, some critical commentary in there, but even that I don't think was very well delivered. And uh, yeah, I mean, it would be nice to revisit that particular project. That's not a very long one. I could probably bang it out in you know a couple weeks of uh, on and off recording. And I think uh, it would probably serve to be rather relatively useful to people, to general audiences. Um, obviously, with the new Brood War pipeline we've got going on, I've been working with uh, editor reviews. And of course, I would also extend that to the original maps and uh, open them up and de deconstruct them. Maybe it would help to contribute towards those people who felt like Blizzard was a standard they wanted to hold their own work to, and I could deconstruct how easy it would have been to improve a lot of the Blizzard maps on a map level, forget about the AI, and forget about everything else associated with them. And uh, hopefully it would be useful content for those particular would-be developers who maybe feel like they, they couldn't possibly make anything as good as Blizzard, and then they see how bad that is, and hopefully that fills them with some sort of uh, motivation, some confidence that, well, at least I'm not going to be that bad. I hope so, anyway. And if nothing else, it'll just be another humorous romp through an RTS game that I've got a lot of familiarity with. And uh, yeah, I'll probably even shit campaign the original campaigns. That's how bad they are. So <laughs> prepare yourself for some of that content at some other point. I don't know if that'll be my very next one. I was thinking of doing that Italian campaign that Dynamo translated a while ago, which is only five maps and apparently has a protest that calls you a fucking idiot. So that sounds very promising all, all on its own, but uh, I've also got it on good authority that it's mostly just boring. So I might end up skipping it as opposed to actually doing it, but time will tell. And uh, otherwise, uh, lately, I've been thinking about doing Huncraft as well. Uh, Huncraft is a uh, Hungarian expansion that recently, ha ish in the last year or so, got a fan translation by Kokolol over on... 
uh, Stardate Network. He well, I think he's on a number of forums, but he posted on Stardate Network. I guess it needs a secondary install of 116.1, which shouldn't be that big of a deal for me to do. But since that is a pretty hefty price to pay for most people who uh, don't even want to download 161 to begin with, let alone have a second copy as a backup to specifically to run Huncraft, I think it makes sense for me to immortalize the game, uh, or the expansion pack, the campaigns, uh, with actual playthroughs, with commentary and feedback. I don't know if I would be able to actually do editor reviews for those or if I would even want to, but... I, I could probably set up an editor suite for Huncraft just for that particular purpose. It probably wouldn't take that long. So that's another thing for the consideration uh, list, but probably not something that happens in the immediate future, just something else that I've been thinking about uh, now. So with that all said, there are a few other things on the list here. Um, I guess I'll just pop into the Brood War custom campaign list in my hard drive here. And uh, yeah, so there's a couple of campaigns, or maybe at least there's a, there's at least this campaign here that I'm looking at now called The Alliance, which is not the same thing as we, what we played from Ver Anus, uh, as a, a very mentally ill uh, Lebanese man once told me, it's actually Alliances by Ver Anus. So it's not, not the same campaign name after all. That has been corrected. But uh, there was Soden. Oh, yeah, he made a few. He made the birth of Tassadar, if you remember that campaign. So uh, we can go back and play his older campaign from 1999 called The Alliance. He also made a campaign called Blood Destiny in 2003. And that's it. So uh, we have two more campaigns from him. I'll probably be running through at some point. I don't know how long they are, but we'll see. And uh, I think I still have to run the shifters part two. I don't remember if I ever did that. I mean, I know I didn't do that, but I, I don't even remember if I have that. Uh, it might be in my played folder because uh, technically they're partnered together. Oh yeah, I do have an episode two one. So I guess at some point I'll be uh, drunk streaming that. Maybe that'll be what we do for Mixer's send off because if you didn't hear the news, Mixer is moving to Facebook gaming. So uh, I think it's on the 22nd of July. It's uh, somewhere near that date anyway. You'll be seeing them go bye-bye. So I've stopped streaming on there for now. But I was thinking that since uh, Mixplay was... <clears throat> such an, a formative part of this uh, re- channel's history in the last year or so, we could uh, reset some stuff there. We could uh, uh, r- enable mixed play and just suffer through that. And that, that could be the way that we do a send off maybe also while inebriated with alcohol. So check that out. I suppose uh, that'll be something that <laughs> I don't know when that'll be, but hopefully within the next month so that we don't mix, miss out on the mixed play part. And uh, I suppose that'll be it. So, uh, Outside of that, yeah, so you can expect some custom campaigns to be played in the relative near future. I have decided that I'll probably end up doing uh, at least one other stream production as opposed to just doing the uh, the offline recordings. But I haven't decided what it, what it's going to be. Uh, I was thinking of maybe doing like obviously Battle Realms was an example of a game that was just batshit crazy and actually lended well to being streamed. But I don't pick games with the assumption that they're going to be terrible and require me to pay attention to chat, hoping that they save my brain from suffering any longer. And uh, as a result, I don't really know what would be a good game for that. So I guess if you have some ideas for something that is actually just going to be relatively humorous, that could be something that I could do before the end of this month or maybe early into next month. We only have like a week or so left in this month anyway, so we'll see what happens. But uh For the most part, the content will remain offline recorded and sent to YouTube where you too can watch it. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But for the most part, it'll be uh, some StarCraft custom content. Uh, There's going to be some translated uh, Mexican campaign from, or no, I think it's actually Chilean from a good old hoop thrower. He's uh, found it, found out that it's not Mexican. It's actually Chilean and he's uh, translating it. So he's a nice guy. You'll see that uh, at some point on the fan campaign listing. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah, I suppose that's it. So those are the video updates that I've got planned. Uh, Since we are entering the last half of 2020, uh, we are getting to the point where I'm not really sure where we're going to go from here, honestly. I I don't really have any concrete idea. I I I don't know what's going to happen. Obviously, I would like to, to finish some stuff related to Hydra, and I would also... Uh, like to finish some stuff related to uh, Inconsummate. 
and uh, otherwise we've still got the map craps going but no idea if that's really all going to happen so we're gonna have to wait and see thanks for bearing with us as we continue to live through these very strange trying times and i hope that you stay safe i hope that you have a good one and i'll uh, check you out on instagram uh, the next day because of course there will always be another mod stream bye <laughs>